Hey guys, I'm out here at 253 Fry Boulevard in Tuscola. I really like this neighborhood. It's kind of tucked away in the back near the end of the road. Uh, this house, <coughs> excuse me, it does have its pluses and its minuses. I'm going to point out both the things I do like and I don't like. Uh, number one, the driveway is very poor condition. Uh, I like sports cars, motorcycles, things like that. So that's always been important to me. Uh, the house itself has some great character. Love the wraparound porch. Um, but the house is dated and I've noticed several signs of deferred maintenance. Um, so I'm going to point out what I see as I go through it. The wood decking on the porch does appear to be in pretty good shape. Looks like they've been working on it recently. Um, but then the first thing I noticed when I was unlocking the door is this huge settling crack. Like I can get my little pinky finger in there and it just kind of runs down the length of the house. And then notice all their flower beds are all dried up. I don't see any irrigation or anything going into there. Um, and then walking through the house, it does feel a little unlevel in some spots. I noticed some doors that are a little out of alignment. So I would be concerned about possible foundation issues on this house. Definitely something to be wary of and to possibly get inspected if you do decide to pursue this property. Uh, the neighborhood is fantastic. Great views, lots of breathing room between you and the neighbors. The character on this house is really good. The layout is good. There's lots of good going for it, but I don't ever want to sugarcoat anything. Uh, you can see back here, they they really don't have any fenced yard, so to speak of. Uh, the property is literally open on this side. It's fenced on that side and the back with some wire fencing, but that was likely the neighbors who built that fence. Um, and so there's a, there's a lot of work to do out here, at least in my opinion as well as in the house as far as updates go. I mean, uh, I don't know how you feel about living in a lavender color house, but anyway, let's go inside, check it out. I do like the wood floor, nice tall ceilings, lots of great built-ins and storage, a wood insert for the fireplace. See, I notice, like, coming right through here, it feels like there's a low spot. Like, I can feel it under my feet as I walk through. Great living room space coming through into the kitchen and dining room. I do like the kitchen layout. Lots of cabinets, double oven. There is no pantry, but there's some extra storage space over here with these big cabinets. Um, but then just throughout the house, just a lack of cleanliness and lack of maintenance. You know, everything is pretty original throughout the house. The original countertops. They did update some appliances, like the refrigerator and dishwasher are stainless steel. Um, but the cooktop is older. The dishwasher, whoever put that in, did not properly install it. It's not lined up right. Um, I do like they have a little wet bar sink on this. Original counters it's a split layout so you got two bedrooms over there and then more bedrooms over here start with the two-car garage right off the kitchen feels slightly oversized than usual and then in here i notice a lot of tape and bedding cracks in the ceiling so you can see pretty much every piece of drywall the tape and bedding job has came off so oh man there's a big crack over there oh no that's just more tape and bedding so a lot of deferred maintenance or lack of maintenance, I should say, and just overall cleanliness throughout the house. So we've got this little room here. I don't know if they counted this as a bedroom or not on the listing. It does have a window and a closet. So this could be counted as a bedroom, albeit small. And then it looks like they're using this coat closet as kind of their pantry since it's right off the kitchen. And like I said, there is no pantry. So that's interesting. There's no serviceable air filter right there, which is weird. I love the laundry room layout, huge laundry room, tons of space, the big soaker sink in there. I love this. Oh, the master bedroom, you can see it's in need of some new carpet. It is worn. Decent space in here. Uh, something that I noticed, again, the 
the lack of cleanliness it is just like like the i don't know yeah why these are so faded like that if it's from the sun and, or smoking i don't notice any weird odor in the house but like they definitely have some some like scentsy stuff going to make it smell good bathroom again very original uh these are very low counter height sinks like they come like mid thigh on me here so if you're tall like I am, you're going to be having to bend over to wash your hands and stuff like that. Jetted tub, very low to the floor. Just very original. Great closet space. This is kind of neat, having the door to the back patio. So if you need to let the dogs out in the middle of the night, it's easy, but then you got no fence. So you let the dogs out, you gotta go out there with them to make sure they don't run away. So coming back through the kitchen. Again, here's the back door to the back patio. Love the wraparound porch. This is really, really cute. But, you know, other than that, you know, once you get past this concrete, it's just a whole blank canvas of you to do stuff with. Yeah, I'm noticing some more cracks in the brick over there. I don't know how well this will come through on the video, but you can kind of see uh, like right there, there. I didn't walk around the whole outside of the house. It's only 9.45, but it's already 90, and that sun is already just beating down on you. Um. Coming through here, I noticed a little crack right there by that air vent in the ceiling. Bedroom number two. Hall bathroom, again, very original. Now, all these windows, they seem to collect all this dirt and dust. So it makes me think that they're not sealed very well. And on a really windy, dusty day, that dust and stuff gets in the house. And bedroom three. Well, all right, guys, that's this house. It's definitely got potential. Um, but me personally, I feel like there's, there's a lot of things that I can already see that if I was to buy this house, I would want to change like the counters, the bathrooms, the windows. And then there's also the things that we don't see, um, that might be revealed on a home inspection report, things like that. So all in all, I would unfortunately have to say on this one here, but let me know what you think. If you have any other questions after watching this video, thanks. And let me know.